Chinese leader humiliated French president in meeting with Ursula von der Leyen. The president of the People's Republic of China, Xi Jinping, ignored a humiliated French President Emmanuel Macron during a tripartite meeting with European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen in Paris, the leader of the French Patriots Party, Florian Philippot, wrote on X. Xi Jinping's state visit to France, Macron humiliated and ridiculed. He shows his submission by inviting Ursula von der Leyen. The Chinese president identifies the real boss, talks to her more and ends up neglecting Macron. Philippot stated, when the leaders of France and the European Commission met Chinese President Xi Jinping for talks on the Elysee Palace in Paris, they had a strong message for him. Beijing must reduce its support for Moscow. As Russia makes gains in its invasion of Ukraine, Emmanuel Macron and Commission Chief Ursula von der Leyen told the Chinese leader that he needs to do more to curtail the transfer of dual-use materials to Moscow that are finding their way onto the battlefield. Given the existential nature of the threats stemming from this war for both Ukraine and Europe, this does not affect EU-China relations, said von der Leyen following a trilateral meeting with Xi, who is on his first state visit to Europe in five years. We count on China to use all its influence on Russia to end Russia's war of aggression against Ukraine, von der Leyen said. But while Xi reiterated Beijing's commitment to not sell arms to Russia, he bristled at Western criticism saying that China did not start the war, nor is it a party to or participant in it. He also rejected what he described as attempts to use the Ukraine crisis to scapegoat or smear a third country or to stoke a new Cold War. Instead, the Chinese leader urged France to uphold independence and jointly prevent bloc confrontation as the two countries celebrate the 60th anniversary of diplomatic ties this year. The two sides should take a long view and work together for an equal and orderly multipolar world, she said, calling on Paris to oppose decoupling, cutting off supply chains or erecting walls and barriers. A driver died after a vehicle crashed into an outer perimeter gate of the White House complex, and the incident late Saturday was being investigated as a traffic crash, police said. The male driver, who was not immediately identified, was found dead in the vehicle following the crash shortly, according to a Secret Service statement, the crash appears to have occurred about 305 meters from the White House at the intersection of Pennsylvania Avenue in the southeast corner of the complex, near the Treasury, the Ellipse, and the South Lawn Diana statement posted on X. Secret Service spokesperson Anthony Guglielmi said there was no threat to the White House and no threat or public safety implications. Security protocols were implemented as officers cleared the vehicle and attempted to render aid to the driver who was discovered deceased, the Secret Service said. President Joe Biden was spending the weekend in Delaware, and the Secret Service said there was no threat to the White House. In January, authorities arrested a driver who crashed a car into an exterior gate of the White House. The man taken into custody after the crash was believed to have been experiencing mental health issues, according to news reports. And I think the rain's coming. Good night.
one. Yeah. Anyway, I leave when you do. I'm leaving now. Thank you.